All right, so first thing we're gonna do... Actually, there's something we forgot to do over here. There's a bridge that I neglected to mention, but we can cross this. Hey, it's a purple Jinjo. Pink Jinjo or whatever. There are eight of them in the game again. Oh, hey. What's up, Miss Cow? Look at the state of poor Movina's field. This plague of filthy flies is scoffing my crops. Oh, dear. How can we help? Get rid of the pesky flies, of course. Say your prayers, flies. <laughs> All right, so these flies are kind of a major pain in the butt to take out normally because they just kind of fly around. They don't really attack you. They're just like flying out of reach. You can rat attack rap them if they get close, but what the game wants you to do is, if you got the egg aim move from Jam Jars, you can go first person mode and shoot them this way. And this is this is how you need to take out the ones that are too high up. Although, my egg aiming is not very good, apparently. Where's that last one? There you are. There we go. Amazing! I corn hardly believe it! You weakly sorted those flies out! Enough of the crop jokes, lady! I believe you owe us a jiggy! Oh, I guess I do! <laughs> so, the jiggies don't seem like they're that much effort to go through, like a little bit more than the first game, but not by much. The later worlds, you have to do a lot more for a single jiggy. But I kind of like that. But the first world is basically like... The first world's jiggies are basically as difficult to get as, like, Rusty Bucket Bay's jiggies from the first game. <laughs> she's happy. Can we talk to her again, or is that... Nope, that's literally it. Okay. Well, she's not a very interesting character, I guess. There's a Hummo Honeycomb piece up there, but we can't reach it. Gee, I wonder if there will be a high jump ability that we learn. Oh, also, one thing uh, from the first game that carries over, if you do a ground pound off a cliff you will be immune to fall damage. Which is really nice. I mean, I don't think it, it's not quite as nice as it is in the first game, where there are some genuinely really tall places, like clock wood, that are super helpful to know, but honestly, it, it's still really nice to have. All right, well, you want to go through this way as Banjo-Kazooie really early, because the move we get from Jam Jars here is, in my opinion, the best move in the game, and one that really should have been in the first Banjo-Kazooie. We have 100 notes, we only need 35. Grip grab. Listen up to what you're told. On the edges you can now hold. Move along with the greatest of ease. Button press B to attack what you please. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, that's what he normally does. So now we have the ability to grab onto ledges. This is something I really wish was in the first Banjo-Kazooie because there are so many times in the first Banjo game where being able to grab onto ledges would be so nice. And now it, we have that ability. There are only three yellow gingers in the game, but we just got the first one of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what happens if Banjo-Kazooie try going into the quicksand. We get spit back out here. And that fiend is kind of creepy, and we don't want it eating us. So, yeah. No, thank you. Hey, lady. And hey, that's... Is that a wigwam I see? Yes, it is. What is in here? Wumba's wigwam. Big Heap, welcome to Little Bear and Bird. I'm Banjo, and my favorite friend is Kazooie. Me, Humba Wumba, best magic person on the island. Ah, uh, we heard that Mumbo was the best. Not true. Mumbo amateur. Wumba best. You bring global magic creatures to here. You not have global. Come back when do. So I know a lot of people will be, get mad at uh, cultural appropriation or stereotypes from this lady, but this is Humble Wumba. I don't care about that. <laughs> she's an interesting addition to the game. Yeah, she's the one who will change you into the different creatures in this game that can do different things. Not Mumbo. 
Honestly, I kind of agree with her. She's generally more useful than Mumbo is, but they both have their place. But we don't have another Globo, so we can't use her anyways. We'll use her eventually, though. Alright, so now if we go up to this pyramid area... Let's see what we can do. So now that door's open, there's also a tiny little hole here that you can use if you can grow, if you can shrink in size. But we're gonna take the main door because that's the only one we can use as Banjo and Kazooie. This leads to the code chamber. Interesting. Take that, Molly. This is where you activate my cheats. Stand on this podium if you want to know how. Okay. We don't have any. You must spell out the cheat code I have given you. Use the control sticks to move the aiming sight and press Z to fire. Aim carefully though. If you hit a wrong letter, you'll have to start again. Yeah, so as we give Cheeto his pages, he'll teach us codes, and then we have to go to the code chamber in the Maya Hem Temple in order to actually activate them. This is basically the Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle of Banjo Tui. A little easier to use though. And because of the warp points, you can get here extremely quickly. I mean, you could get to the Treasure Trove Cove one quickly as well, but I feel like it's just a little more convenient in this game. Well, so if we can tell on Trot up here. Yeah, the grip grab you just use so much in this game, it's indispensable. Ooh, it's a jiggy! Let's grab it. Oh, hi, Snake. That he'd steal slumber's gold while he slept in you. Well, yes, to be honest. But I heard you coming, clumsy bear. Oh. Oh, well that didn't work out. I'm surprised this this snake easily could kill us if he wanted to, but he's just like, Ah, you kind of suck for trying to steal my treasure. My treasure, my precious treasure. So if we fall down again, we'll spit it back up. Splendid. They seem to have gone. Must get some more sleep. Alright. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, let's do a... We keep, we keep crushing these twigs. Luckily, slumber surrounded himself with twigs. Now I can hear everything. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be a problem. That is one of the trickiest jiggies for me to figure out how to how to do. Alright. So we can grip grab on this ledge here and we can actually shimmy our way over here. Okay! Yeah, that introduces a new enemy. That is a Snapdragon. These are enemies that you will face on these long ridges like this that you have to uh, grip, grab, and shimmy along. What you want to do, so you'll know they're coming when you see those beehive-like things there. What happens is as soon as you see a Snapdragon appear, you press the B button. And Kazooie will peck its eyes out. Gruesome, but useful. You don't need super good reflexes for them, but it helps to be kind of fast. And there's a Cheeto page on this pet podium. That was worth it. Again, we do want the Cheeto pages, because Cheeto's cheats in this game range from useful to absolutely busted, so... Yeah, we won't be using all of Cheeto's cheats. There's there's one Cheeto cheat in particular that's just like this completely destroys the game's difficulty. Because this is general. This is actually a very difficult game. So what happens if we shimmy to the opposite side? We know I don't see any Snapdragons this way, so probably not something as good. This sign. What does this say? Pressing the control stick only slightly will make you tiptoe silently. So, when I read that sign, I was not smart enough to put two and two together. But what the game wants you to do is, in order to get the Jiggy from Slumber, you've got to move really slowly. If you move, like, even slightly too fast, or if you jump and land on the, uh, let's see all these brown twigs. If you land on any of these or move quickly onto them, it'll make a sound. Slumber will wake up because he's an extremely light sleeper, and then we'll, uh, eat the Jiggy. All right. So what we want to do is wait for him to go to sleep, and if we, yeah, 
If you hold the control stick just barely, Banjo will move like this, and you'll move silently across the twigs. And there we go! We now have the fourth, fourth Jiggy for the world and five Jiggies in total. And now for some reason, after collecting it, we can just run across these without making a sound. That's okay, Slumber will now never wake up. <laughs> he was so distraught at the loss of his Jiggy that he died. Alright, so that's it for the Jade Snake Grove for the time being. Actually, at this point, I should point out, so... Uh, the second global on this level, so... Yeah, it's over here, it's behind the wigwam. So every level has two Globos, and every level also will have a Wumbo Wigwam and a Mumbo Skull. The Globos will be found close to these, so the, the uh, one of the Globos will always be found pretty close to Wumbo's Wigwam, and the other Globo will always be found pretty close to Mumbo's Skull. So that's that's useful to know. You won't have to go to like this ridiculous out-of-the-way place in order to get to the Globo. Just keep that in mind. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna enlist Wumpa's help. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. Alright, so yeah. If you enter the pool before you throw a Globo in, nothing will happen. But after you throw the Globo in... We turn into something new! Wumba call this stony. Use control stick to move and press B for big heat barge attack. Jump back in Wumba pool when want to be Baron Bird again. So this is the first transformation, it's the stony. I feel like Wumba's transformations in this game are a little hit or miss, but they're by and large way more useful than Mumbo's transformations in the first game. The only good transformation in the first game was the bee, and everyone else was just like, oh, it's small and it can move through toxic water. In this, they actually genuinely do different veins, but the Stony's a pretty lackluster transformation. Again, it's just small, so it can enter the tiny caverns, but at least we can attack on like 90% of Mumbo's transformations in the first game. The main thing that we can do as a Stony, though, is we can now understand what other Stonies. Under the strong rocks, you will find many surprises. And they will actually give us genuinely good advice. So we could use the stony to enter the code chamber, but there is literally no reason to ever enter the code, code chamber as a stony. He can't even type in the cheats, so... We're gonna go back to the world entry and exit, because, as you remember, there is a hollow honeycomb piece behind the entrance, and now we are small enough to get it. Boom. This is an extra honeycomb piece! Yeah, the stony's a little on the slow side. But that's okay, you don't need the stony for a whole lot in this world. The main thing we need is we need to go over here. <laughs> Cause we're gonna we're gonna get into that stadium. But first, there's a stony over here that we must talk to. Shoot the giant stone ones between the eyes. Yeah, he'll basically let you in on the weakness of those stone uh, heads. Hey dude, I'm a stony now. I'm Banjo the Stony. Uh, can I come in and play? Hmm, I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying that we're a bear and a bird in an elaborate disguise trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. <laughs> He's one of my favorite one-off characters. He's so savvy. Thanks, off Thanks officer, you know gold pass. Looks like we did gold pass today. And now we're in the Mayan Kickball Stadium lobby. And there's a warp point in here. That gate's closed. There's not much we can do there. 
Uh, we could go down there, but now we're gonna jump into it. Hey, dude. Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise you take a little training downstairs first. Might as well. Alright. Downstairs is where the training happens, huh? This is the training area. You may consult any of the washed-up player coaches for advice. <laughs> really? Can I? Oh, boy! Oh, hey! Washed-up coaches! Hey! They're so excited to see me. They haven't been able to coach someone in a very long time. Hey, what's up? Use the control stick to move, Z to kick the ball, and B to barge. Kick the balls into your goal to score two points. Does that help? I'm sure we'll soon find out. I reckon you should score lots of points. <sighs> I think we could have worked that one out for ourselves. Oh boy, let me tell you something. Here's my advice, Sonny. Try to come in first. Wowie, we'd never have thought of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only one out of three washed up coaches actually can give you good advice. They're washed up for a reason, you know. Here's a little ball we can practice with. Oh boy. Yeah. So we can barge and we can kick with Z. Yay! So that's what we're going to be doing upstairs. But on a professional level. Boom! I've kicked one ball. I'm good enough for the professional league. Although I guess this is the amateur league. I can't believe I... This is the kickball stadium for Stonies. Why are the stairs so big that you have to jump up them? These are poorly made stairs. Anyhow. We're already good enough to be in the quarterfinals. We, we talked to the free washed up judges. Kicked one ball and a goal. And they're like, bam. You're better than 95% of Stonies out there. You're good enough to be in the quarterfinals of the professional league. All right, we're playing Mayan Kickball in the quarterfinals with no experience whatsoever. Hey, Whack, who's this ugly new guy? You got real nerve calling me ugly. May the best Stony win. So balls will spawn. We basically need to kick them into our blue goal. Way to go. They just kicked it into the wall and shattered it. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Out of my way, kids. I'm gonna run this empire. Man, they suck at this game. No wonder they need... Wow! No wonder they thought I was good enough to be in the quarterfinals. These these players suck. They don't even know how to kick properly. Oh no, Purple scored a... Po oh no, Purple got two points. Uh-oh. What am I gonna do? Yeah, this... Banjo-Tooie has quite a few mini games. Honestly, they're kind of hit or miss. Some, a lot of them are really annoying. But for the most part, they're at least fine. There are a couple of them that are actually legitimately really fun. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. Yeah, I, I destroyed the quarterfinalists. Boom. I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to play some kickball. This is the lamest sport ever. Except golf. The semifinal. Those shorts look stupid! You're just jealous because you don't have any. Right, the best stony win. They're just jealous because they're going in the nude. So the yellow balls will give you points, so kick those into your goal. And then the red balls will take away other people's points. Whoops. Okay, this one's a little tougher. No, give me give me that yellow ball. You, you think you're better than me? Boom! Although the the red balls will only take away one point as opposed to the give uh, taking away two. Out of my way. Give me, give me the ball. Give me the ball. No. Out of my way. Give me that. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. I'm winning this sports... I'm winning this game of sports ball. Oh, it's a good thing I kicked that red ball in the red goal. I only won by one point. Man, that was a hot, lot harder than I remember. But we still did it first try. You've won your semi-final. The Mayan kickball final beckons. So all of the tickets were sold out for this well, two years ago while we were playing Banjo-Kazooie 1. 
But they didn't have enough players, and the players they do have are so bad that a guy can go downstairs, talk to some washed-up coaches, kick one ball in a goal, and be way better than all of them. Wow, what, what kind of universe is this? All right, we're off to the Mayan kickball final. You've no chance of becoming champion. We'll see. May the best Stony win. So now this introduces a new type of ball, the Bomb Ball. You can kick those at other players, and they will um, get stunned. Just focus. You should prioritize getting the yellow balls into your goal first, and then you should prioritize taking, uh, kicking red balls into these whoever is your biggest uh, competition. There is some RNG to this, just because you have no way of knowing where the balls are going to spawn. Oh no! Purple's doing way too well. No! He beat me! Not bad, but you need to come in first. It's not my fault! The balls were not spawning near me! Do you want to play again? Yes! Oh wow! That final didn't count. <laughs> now this is the real final. That is the first time I've ever failed at Mayan Kickball. Of course it would happen during a Let's Play. May the best Stony win. Alright. I'm gonna stay closer to the center now. dare kick that ball into my goal, I'll kick this ball into your goal. <laughs> They're all fighting over one ball. No, 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 you're not getting that. There we go. Man, we clobbered them that time. We got more than double the... Actually, no. Red had eight points in the run. I declare you the new Mayan kickball champion. I'm too choked up for words. Yeah, that was a lot more to get a Jiggy than you would have to in the first Banjo, I would say. But we are now the champions of Mayan Kickball. It's like, hey, but we beat him in the final. That one didn't count. <laughs> so that's the main thing you need to do as a Stony in this world. But there's still one other thing we need to uh, do. So you'll remember the Golden Goliath destroyed part of the other door. Well, we're going to explore that now. There is something there we need to do as a Stony. And if, if at all possible, I'd like to minimize the amount of backtracking I need to do to make uh, become the transformations again. I, for, I also forgot how laggy this game is. It's pretty noticeable, though. Like, <laughs> if there are two enemies on screen, then <laughs> it slows down by quite a bit. And despite that, it's still a fantastic game. Because again, this is an N64 game. It's kind of pushing the graphics to the limits without the expansion pack.